Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be looking at Azure Initiatives a little bit more. So in our previous lecture, we learned about aspects of the Azure policies where we first created a definition and which is our rule of what we would like to call as the policy and uh, post to that we assign that policy to the management groups or maybe to a subscription or to a resource group that's how we can apply that's what we learned in the previous lecture and uh, finally we learn how we can audit that policy against to our resources or uh, put our policy into an effect for all that resources created we're gonna um, take a look at Azure initiatives and uh, now uh, with an initiative is in a collection or uh, individual policy so what we can do is uh, this policy once we have uh, this kind of an individual policy that initiative is a sort of a way to uh, group together these multiple policies and group them based on all the uh, policies that are tailored towards and achieving a single goal for example if you can see here uh, this is an initiative policy what we have set it at the management group level so it will actually follow the down uh, all that would be followed whatever the policies you set it similarly if you set it at the subscription level here level 1 and level 2 or the side by side levels so all these policies will be followed automatically the down also and if you set it the resource group level so all these policies will be followed the rules which you set as an initiative so that you are following the a proper structure and you are not actually uh, making any kind of exceptions if you really wanted to you know exempt from the policies you can actually exempt with uh, within the policy while you are actually creating it so by doing all this you got the a single uh, goal of achieving whatever the policies you set it at the top level and uh, now let's take uh, uh, the documentation side so within the same documentation link which you have provided in the previous lecture you do have here the policy assignment policy initiative so this is where the definition comes so for example uh, you can take a initiative policy and how you're you know achieving is uh, by taking in one ex one of the example we might have an initiative definition where we wanted to save our costs so we might make a policy that disallows a certain size of uh, SKUs of virtual machines and we might take another policy that disallows a size of SKUs of uh, storage accounts and we might uh, we might take both of these policies and put them in new initiative called cost savings now we can apply that initiative to the same levels that we can apply policies like management groups or subscriptions under them or resource groups under them in fact this way we don't even have to apply the policies individually all these levels we can do it uh, once with just the one initiative now another cool thing about Azure initiatives is the outside of the grouping of various policies and actually let us uh, reuse policies because a single policy can belong into multiple initiative if there is any single policy that you frequently have to add to management groups or subscriptions or to your new resource groups have it uh, having it is part of your initiative can really help in cutting down or repetitive applications of that policy if you can see here you have the initiative policies and you can uh, reapply the same kind of you know, policies again and that way you can uh, helping in cutting down or uh, repeated applications of that policy and um, you can see some more examples of initiative based on your Azure documentation in this example we have would create an initiative called enabling enabling and monitoring in Azure security center and what we would do is create three different policies under that initiative and one policy would be to monitor unencrypted SQL database in security center and one would be to monitor OS vulnerabilities in security center and other one would be the monitoring uh, missing endpoint protection security uh, protection in the security center so what all, all of this uh, would be end up doing is required uh, requiring some kind of a certain software to be installed and configured and databases and servers and reporting back to the security center that's what we are trying to do it here uh, to ensure that these resources are compliant with each of these policies now so now additionally with the initiative a resource has to be a complaint with all the 
all three of these policies in this case in order to be compliant with the initiatives uh, it's an it's an all or nothing as far as uh, you know pass or fail within the policies and the initiative you have to pass all the policies in order to pass the initiative but anyways i hope this has been a helpful lesson in understanding about azure in initiatives and how we can use them to group our multiple separate policies uh, together into grouping of a, a policy definitions and they can help us by allowing us to reuse our policies across uh, multiple initiatives and again just like policies we can apply them uh, to the management group subscriptions and resources i hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this